In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rollers on your GY6 scooter or the entire variator assembly. Now a common symptom when the variator rollers are getting very worn is when your engine is idling and you may hear a loud rattling sound coming from this area of your scooter right here behind the CV cover. If you hear that rattling and when you give it gas it more or less clears up then you're going to know your rollers are heavily worn. To start what you're going to do is you're going to place the scooter on the center kickstand. Once it's on the center kickstand the next step is to remove all the screws from your CV cover and remove the cover. Once you have removed all the screws, grab the cover here and the front, straight out, tilt it out and down. Here's the belt and your clutch assembly. The part we're going to be replacing is this entire assembly you see here. You have the fan with the pulley and then you have the rear plate where the other side of the belt presses against. Now I have changed parts in the assembly, such as these little plastic guides you see here. They slide over the variator on these posts that you're looking at. As well as the rollers that you see here. I've used sliders and rollers and to me the, the sliders are a lot more money and to me they're a waste of money because they wear out just as fast as these rollers do. So I'd rather just change these out when mine go bad but everybody has their own opinion. If you like the sliders, then stay with those. Now there are a few options to remove this entire assembly. If you have an impact wrench and a 19 millimeter socket, you can hold this very tightly while you use your impact wrench to back off on the nut. Once the nut is off, everything will pull forward. If you do not have an impact wrench, then another good thing that you can do is exactly what I'm going to do and that's take a very large oil filter strap wrench and you're going to slide it over this entire fan assembly and then you're going to hold it wedged nice and tight around the perimeter while you back off on this nut. If you don't do that, this entire thing's going to be moving around and you will not be able to take the nut off. Another way could also be done. You could take a metal rod that fits inside these holes you could bend a nice little hook on each end, shove one in here, come down, make a bend, come up, put another hook into this hole, and then you can hold this from moving while you're taking your socket to remove the nut. What I'm going to do now is use the strap wrench to hold the variator fan and take the socket with the ratchet and back off on this nut slightly. Once that's done, we'll come right back. All right, as you can see, this has been loosened up all the way. What I did is I grabbed the pulley and I squeezed it hard towards me and I shoved the belt in deep. This way I made it very loose like you see here. Loosen the nut and pull the plate off. Pretty good shape considering it's original and has around 12,000 miles on it. Pull this out of the way and leave it there. Reach behind with your finger. Make sure you get the back of it. You want to grab the back of this, which faces that way. So you're going to grab it this way. And remove the whole assembly. 
Once this plate is removed, then you could access the rollers. These are 18 by 14. Now I prefer 15 gram rollers. If you make them too light, then you have the problem when you go to accelerate off the line that your engine will over rev before the scooter starts to move. And if you make them too heavy, the engine will rev a little bit and then it'll start to engage, but then you won't have that off the line speed because you're affecting the whole gear ratio of the pulleys. You won't have that torque off the line. So you have to find that happy medium, and I prefer the 15 gram. If you go a little higher, it's better for fuel economy. If you use a heavier roller, like an 18, you'll even see a little bit higher top end speed. Not much, but a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is take a closer look at the rollers and show you what happens to them when they get worn out. All right, you're looking at the assembly. Now, let me take one out. Now you see the flat spots? You get these flat spots, and when they get flat, they don't roll right. This one's not horrible. This one right here, you can see it has a, a really nice flat spot right there. That's worn out. Let's take a look at this one. It's a flat spot right there. You can see that. And having those flat spots allows everything to rattle. So you want to eliminate that rattling. And you do that by replacing the rollers. That's a pretty, well, this one here is just there. And the last one is in decent shape outside that little spot. You also want to take a look inside. Make sure that there, nothing is scored, especially on the side wall in there. Let me point with something to make it easier for you to see. Right, check out these side walls right here, there, and these side walls right there. Make sure they're not all gouged. Sometimes you have a groove that's cut from the roller. If you see that, you're definitely going to want to ditch this. This is in pretty good shape. Now, I only paid $20 for an entire new assembly. It really wasn't worth it for me to buy just the rollers. So that's why I'm just going to swap the entire unit out and show you how that's done. But this will be kept as a good spare. You're also going to want to take notice of these posts. Make sure that they're not all chewed up and narrowed. When they become narrow, you get play. You, don't, you want to eliminate any play. So inspect the post. Inspect this actual holder for the grooves in the sides. And check the rollers to make sure there's no flat spots. And then you should be good to go. Now if you only have an 18 gram and you're looking for a lighter roller like my 15s, what you could do is you could take the rollers and then you could drill them out. You take a good quality drill bit, drill in maybe a quarter of an inch of the way in, flip it over, and drill on this side as well. You're going to start with a drill bit that's slightly larger in diameter because you do not want to take too much material away, otherwise you'll end up making them too light. Now the way that I do it, I take a small digital scale, going to change the mode from ounces to grams. That's grains, grams. My roller should be right around 15. And there you go, we got 15. But you could always drill these out to make them go from 15 to whatever weight you want. So I just drill a little bit there, drill a little bit on that side, and check the weight. Be sure to do that for each and every one, and then you could reinstall them into the variator assembly and you'll have no problems at all. Once the new rollers are installed in the housing, you'll place the cover back over the rollers, flip it this way, and slide it back over the shaft here. Slide in the spacer, all the way in snugly. You could take some rubbing alcohol, Make sure you clean off this surface here to make sure there's no oil residue. 
take the belt, put it back on over the spacer, take the fan, install that like that. Looking pretty good here. Make sure the belt is not, if you leave it, if you leave it there, you won't be able to put this on flush. So pull back a little bit, hold it there, that's in. Then you take the washer, that in, and reinstall the nut. Now what I like to do when I reassemble this is put a little bit of thread locking compound on the threads, usually red, 242 or 272, and then reinstall this while I'm holding the fan assembly with my large oil filter wrench. If I ever need to remove the variator assembly, all I do is remove the belt first by squeezing this like in my other video and popping the belt off and then apply some heat only to the nut to soften up the thread locking compound so I can remove the nut. What I'm going to do now is reinstall this nut and tighten it down securely. Once this nut is tightened down securely, then you can grab the belt, wiggle it around a little bit, hold this, make the belt move back outward a little bit while pulling on the pulley. Going, get it nice and snug, like that. And there you go. Roll it around, rotate it, pretty tight. And that's it, project complete, very simple. The last thing you're going to do is reinstall the CV cover with all of the bolts and put this back on where that was and you are complete.